sind nahezu auf gleichem Niveau. Was gibt es Neues aus dem Fanshop? Das weiße, schöne Frankfurt Basketball-T-Shirt von Peak ist wieder im Fanshop erhältlich. Schaut mal vorbei in der Merchandise-Shop oder auch neu online auf schaupunkt.de für 14,90 Euro dort zu erhalten. Jedes Jahr gibt es eine Benefizjahr. Dies findet auch dieses Jahr wieder statt. Am Samstag, den 16. April, um 19 Uhr im Gesellschaftshaus Kreimgarte hier in Frankfurt am Main. Die Benefiz Gala 2016 zu Gunze, Gunze des tollen Projekts Basketball macht Schule. Die Fahrbord Skyliners und Smoking zu ihren Turnschuhen Sterneküche und Starsängerin Anna Maria Kaufmann ist auch dabei. Wir haben mal ein Teil ausgelegt vom letzten Jahr, wie es da zu sich geht. Kleiner Ein- und Ausschalter, den siehst du jetzt, klar. Ne? Oder einfach äh, steck die Kabel raus. Leuchtet. Ja, ja, das ist, weil die bei meinem Strom war. Die geht ja nicht aus.
Also der Rückblick auf Basketball nach Schule, die Benefizskala aus dem letzten Jahr. Wir freuen uns auf ein genauso erfolgreiches Event. Die sechste Benefizskala, 16. April 2016 in Palmbach. Und heute haben wir das Spiel erstmal vor uns. In 20 Minuten geht's los. Schön, dass ihr bei uns seid.
Fernsehen raus, so ein bisschen mit. Das heißt, so einfach so nicht zu nah dran, aber so ein bisschen, dass du das filmst. Das heißt, ein schönes Bild ist ganz ruhig, immer so ein bisschen Spiele mitnehmen, aber nicht zu so nah, so dass man halt so ein bisschen sehen kann, was hier passiert mit dem Flammen und so weiter. Weil ich bin wahrscheinlich beim Zimmer laufen, ich bin nicht nah am Laptop, weil ich die Wand bedienen muss. Deshalb habe ich, ich stehe mit der Kamera die ganze Zeit drauf, ähm, damit es einfach halbwegs so ein bisschen Helligkeit. Äh, nee, die Helligkeit kannst du glaube ich so lassen. Es wird nicht gut sein, aber ich würde es gar nicht äh, wieder machen. Wir können aber jetzt nochmal die. Äh, die Na, lass uns mal so auf und dann machen wir nachher dann halt. Okay. Äh, ich stelle sie dann mal ein. Äh, ist auch genau. Krass. Also dann einfach so ein bisschen mitgehen, das ist schon das
A little more than 75 hours ago, Fraport Skyliner Quantes Robertson watched his last second desperation three-pointer in Munich fall short, propelling FC Bayern Munich to a tight 78-76 victory. Since then, Super Tez Robertson has had time to digest the loss and funnel his anger and chip on his shoulder for the Europe Cup mission and possible third club title for the Fraport Skyliners. As they continue their quest tonight with their with four wins remaining 
to help unleash that chip on the shoulder of Tez and the team. Good evening and welcome to the FIBA Europe Cup quarterfinal series. Best of three between the Red Hot 14-0 Kapot Skylands against the Israeli team Maccabi Rishon, who have a respectable 10-4 record in this competition. Live from Frankfurt, Germany, I am Miles Schmitschoiba and we'll do the play-by-play -play for this Europe Cup game one in the quarterfinals. After having a six-game winning streak in the Beko BBL, the Frappert Skylanders have been a bit up and down in the past weeks with a 2-2 two two record in Germany. They had wins against Olman Gießen, but losses against Bamberg and Munich. However, with a perfect 14-0 in Europe Cup, the club has the need of self-confidence to keep that winning streak alive. The, the strength of the club is their defense, which is first in Europe Cup play at 64 points. Their unbelievable capability of ball movement, team basketball, and chemistry. The team is led by their big three of Germans, Johannes Volkmann, Danilo Bartel, and Konstantin Klein, captain Quantes Robertson, MVP candidate Jordan Theodor, and Canadian national player Aaron Dornkamp. Frankfurt is physical, disciplined, stick to the principles, and play hard for 40 minutes. They have great rotations, great spacing, and great chemistry with the bigs. Maccabi Rishon was founded in 1976 and uh, been in the top division since 1988. The club is still looking for the first title. Um, they have finished in the top four four times. In 1991, they lost the playoff series to Maccabi Tel Aviv. In 206 and 211, they lost the one-game semifinal to Hapol Jerusalem and Maccabi Tel Aviv. They have reached two cup finals. At the moment, they are holding strong in the Israeli Winter League in sixth place out of 12 teams. The club is led by Americans Daryl Monroe, Mark Lyons, and Chris Wright, and Israeli Sean Dawson. Their strength is that they can put up points on the board, and they have a very good defensive uh, team as well, but they're not very tall. Key facts today. Frankfurt has to set the tone early inside. They will need to crash the offensive glass and show right away that this is their living room since their Israeli team is a very good defensive rebounding team. Maccabi Rishon, uh, they're very good shooting team, best in the Europe Cup at field goal percentage, 52% to 41% from outside. They will need to shoot well tonight to win this game and get out on transition. That's what they like to do. Run and gun is the name of the game in the Israeli Winter League. That's what they like to do. Key will be the bench and the free throw shooting. That is where Frankfurt has the advantage. Frankfurt has six players shooting 80% or more in the Europe Cup. And uh, back to the Maccabi Rishon defense. They average 8.2 steals per game in the Europe Cup. They have six players in the Europe Cup competition averaging one steal or more, and actually eight players in the Israeli Winter League aver uh, averaging one steal or more. So Frank is going to have to play very concentrated offensive basketball and not get intimidated by this uh, aggressive defense. My key matchup tonight is Jordan Theodore against Mark Lyons, the two point guards. Theodore is the penetrator, Lions is the more dangerous three-point shooter, but I still see Theodore as having the edge as he is the better distributor. So here we go, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready to go here. Game one in the 2015-16 Europe Cup uh, season between the Fraport Scouts and Maccabi Rishon. For Frankfurt, Jordan Theodore, Danilo Bata, Aaron Dornkamp, Johannes Volkman, and the captain, Qantas Robertson. For Maccabi Rishon, we have uh, with the number six, that's Mitsan Hanochi, the 29-year-old who's playing his fifth season with the team. Number 86, Daryl Monroe, the American. Mark Lyons. And number 33, the ex-NBA player, Chris Wright, 32 NBA games with uh, Golden State and Milwaukee. And with the number uh, eight, Sean Dawson, the biggest young Israeli talent at the moment. You've got to keep an eye on Sean Dawson with the number eight and with the number 86, Daryl Monroe. Those two guys are going to be very instrumental tonight. And of course, Mark Lyons, too, has the ball right now. The um, from Schenectady, New York. And good defense from Danilo Bato forcing a turnover there on the first possession of uh, Maccabi Rishon and the Fraport Skyliners now in their first offensive set with Tez Robertson, the oldest uh, Skyliner since 2009 here, to Jordan Theodore, the MVP candidate from Englewood, New Jersey, Dornkin. Skyliner's trying to get started quickly on the first possession. Tez 
And a good play there from Chris Wright. Where did he come? Like a guard. And he gets the ball not to fall. But there you see how, how good they defend. They're very good at double teaming. Watch that. Uh, Makabe Yushan, very good in the double team. But Chris Wright couldn't get it to fall there. And a whistle, I think a foul. First foul against uh, Hanochi. He's played 12 years in the Winter League in Israel. He played with the national team 2013 European Championships in Slovenia. Number six, Hanochi. Dornkamp with a new haircut. Bartho almost loses the ball. Look how quickly they double team Tez with the first uh, attempt in and out. Rebound Daryl Monroe and Mark Lyons. Second in the Winter League in scoring last season. Very good three-point shooter, Mark Lyons. And a turnover, bad pass there from Monroe looking for Chris Wright who was cutting in the lane. Chris Wright who played in Poland last season for Turov. Played in EuroLeague, two games against FC Bayern Munich, won one and lost the other. Still adjusting to the European game, Chris Wright. This game is probably better suited for the uh, American game, but uh, it seems like he will try now in Europe to uh, pers uh, to continue his career. He's definitely a guy that can score and put get rebounds, Chris Wright. And they, they weren't sure if he was going to play tonight. He wasn't totally fit, but as you can see, he's on the floor and definitely showed some of that athleticism that he had with that uh, steal earlier. And it'll be uh, Frankfurt basketball with 8.49 to play here in the first quarter. Still no points on the board for either team as they're still trying, feeling each other out. Jordan Theodore. Bartol, Tez playing a zone now. Rishon, Theodore trying to penetrate, can't. Kicks it out, Dornkamp. Theodore in the corner with a fake, pull up, short, and the ball goes out of bounds. And both teams are still looking for some kind of a rhythm here. And who knows, we could have a low scoring game today. Both teams take a lot of pride in their defense. Jordan Theodore to throw it in, the ex Seton Hall guard. Two seasons in Turkey, last season in France, second in assist with six. Pull up, catch and pop. And the rebound from Sean Dawson. And Rishon, a nice spin there from Lyons. But they call it traveling, too many steps for Mark Lyons, who played three years at Xavier and a senior year at Arizona. Had some great games in college 25 against Stanford, 24 against Arizona State. Still, no points on the board here, almost two minutes played. Here live from Frankfurt, Germany, Fiedel. And a steal, they tried to pick and roll with Folkman, but good play there from Rishon. And the first points, the fast break from Daryl Monroe. Good defense leads to better offense for Maccabi Rishon. Tez, I think Frankfurt is a little shocked at the moment that they can't get anything going on offense. Tez, with a little fake. Folkman with three seconds, pull up. Oh, and the high rainbow, like a kite. That's just hovering up in the air. That ball was long up in the air. Nice shot, a 15-footer from the corner for Folkman. Hanochi, Dawson, Sean Dawson. His dad, Joe, played 20 years in Israel. He's an American. His mom's I Israeli. Dawson with a mid-distance jumper gives Maccabi Rishon the 4-2 lead. Dornkamp. Tez. Getting a screen there from Folkman. Fol Bartow for the lead. Good! Danilo, white man can jump. Bartow for the first lead for the Fraport Skyliners. And now they're slowly finding the rhythm on offense. And Dornkamp there with Monroe in the little scuffle there. That's a good matchup. And a foul, I believe, on Quantes Robertson. 
And uh, Daryl Monroe played at uh, George Mason with together with Mike Morrison. Morrison was a freshman when Monroe was a senior. So this is uh, a nice matchup today. And Monroe is a pl player to watch. He's very undersized at two meters two, but he plays forward center. Hanochi, right. There's Mark Lyons again. Lyons for three for the lead. Can't get it to, to drop and rebound Tez. Tez, no foul there. Tez in the corner. Theodore. Can't get it to fall. Folkman tries to tip it in. And a foul against Maccabi Duchamp. Six minutes, ten seconds to play in the first quarter. Prop with Skyliners with a 5-4 advantage. Second team foul against Maccabi Rishon. And a new player coming in now for Maccabi Rishon. With the number 14, that's Kevin Palmer. This is also a very, very, very talented player. He's already 28. But uh, he led the Greek League a couple years ago with a lower ranked team in rebounds and steals. Greek League, you know, has some pretty good teams there with the Panitanaikos and Olympiakos. Mid distance shot from. Bookman, and he gets it to fall. He gets a Frankfurt roll. Lions. Mark Lyons against Theodore. To Monroe, inside, kicks it out. There's Palmer. And a foul against Bookman. Now everyone always talks about the amazing passing quality of Johannes Volkman, but Daryl Monroe is averaging four assists in the Winter League in Israel and 3.7 assists in the Europe Cup play. So you just saw his ability to make the quick kickout pass there. But now Kevin Palmer in the free throw line. 3.4 points, 3.9 rebounds, 1.4 assists. In the Europe Cup play, doesn't get the first to fall. He had 15 points against Kirka Novo Mesto in the Europe Cup play. He's from Baltimore, Maryland. And he's been a scorer most of his life. Second gets it to fall. He was second in scoring in uh, the Japan League for Fukuoka, And um, also in college, he had averaged 18 and 19 points in the last two seasons with Texas A&M, the Corpus Christi in Texas, so he can definitely put points on the board, Kevin Palmer, but Frankfurt still with the lead. And a whistle. First foul against Sean Dawson. Theodore, Tez. Tez. Barto against the zone. Dornkamp inside the Fulkman. Oh, beautiful fake! Has no problems getting around Palmer and he makes a one-handed dunk. Nice play for Johannes Fulkman. Turnover there. Dawson was cutting in towards the hoop, but the pass was a little behind him. And Frankfurt gets the ball with five minutes, 15 seconds to play, Jordan Theodore, Bottom. Frankfurt with a three point lead. Inside, Folkman, Folkman, another fake. Nice move, and he gets it to fall. And Folkman is on fire here. Here in the first quarter. And uh, he really had an incredible Euro challenge season last season his was like his breakout in European play 26 points against any say in the deciding third game which uh, helped Frankfurt get to the final four but he doesn't get the free throw to fall Chris Wright with a rebound and Maccabi Rishon trying to get back in this game here they're down 11 to 6 Palmer Lions for three totally open can't get it to fall rebound Danilo Bati but somehow Monroe stole the ball. Tez steals it back. Tez, touchdown pass, Folkman. But back was Monroe, or Dawson, getting back on defense. Tip out of bounds from Dawson, and Jordan Theodore throw it in. Theodore, Danilo Batu. 
11-6 lead, 14 fouls for Maccabi Rushon, two for Frankfurt, Dornkamp. Tez penetrates, off balance. Oh, what a shot from Quantez Robertson. And that wasn't an easy shot for the Cincinnati native. And he will go to the line. Quantez Robertson. 13 points, 4.4 rebounds, 2.9 assists in the Cup play, 88.6% free throw percentage, but another free throw that the Skyliners can't get to uh, the fall, giving Maccabi Rishon, yeah, keeping the lead the way it is at 13-6. Kevin Palmer for three, short, and the tip in from Chris Wright and Frankfurt a little asleep there under the boards. Nice play from Chris Wright, the Ohio native. Theodore, Dornkamp posting up. Frankfurt looking for a good shot here. Passing up, good shot for a great shot. Barto penetrates, off balance. And he gets it to fall with one second with the shot clock going off. Mark Lyons is extremely quickly looking for Monroe, Monroe in the corner. And there's Dawson with the three-pointer. Big shot from the Israeli. That was a broken play, and uh, lucky for Maccabi and Sean that they didn't lose the ball there. Theodore penetrates, beautiful. And what a shot from Jordan Theodore, the, from Englewood, New Jersey. Pride and joy. Biggest lead for Frankfurt, 17-11, 2.58 to play in the first. Monroe, baseline. And Danilo Bartel was there. But he is, uh, he gets the foul. Now Avi Ben Chimo, the 30-year-old, 194 centimeter guard in the game. He's played with eight teams in Israel. Started his career with Maccabi Tel Aviv. Already played EuroLeague when he was 18, and he won the EuroLeague in uh, 2004. Avi Ben Shemo with the number 11. And the first free throw for Daryl Monroe was good. Had 28 points against Maccabi Tel Aviv this season. Top player in the Israeli Winter League. Gets both to fall, keeping Maccabi Rishan in the game, four back. John Little in the game now, 2010 Euro Challenge winner with Biggie Göttingen. Volkmann, he is self-confident, give me the ball and I'll hit shots. And that's what Johannes Volkmann is doing. 20 footer, he can hit from all over the floor. Chris Wright, spins inside, kicks it out in the corner. Ben Chimo, short. And good work from Daryl Monroe. With the tap in, the Skyliners have to be more aggressive on the defensive glass. Volkmann, inside Bartle, cutting in. Against Monroe, or Wright, was that Chris Wright, and uh, he's hit with the foul. Good work from Daniel Bartle, had the position. All he had to wait was contact from the American, and he got it, and he goes to the free throw line. They're averaging 8.9 points, 4.4 rebounds, two assists in Europe Cup play. First attempt for the Heidelberg native is not good. Shooting 78% from the free throw line in the Europe Cup play. Had 21 points against Soda Italia. And he gets a second to fall. Mike Morrison on the court now. And if the glass gets dirty here in the Fraport Arena, you don't need any glass, you don't need any wax, you just need the ultimate glass cleaner. That's Mike Morrison. Chris Wright. Mark Lyons. Still looking to find his groove in the game. Ben Chimol. Good double team there from the Skyliners. 
Monroe, extra pass. He maybe he should have uh, taken the shot there, but he opted to look for uh, Sean Dawson inside, but he couldn't handle the ball. Turnover against Maccabi and Sean. Frankfurt with a five point lead, 2015, but five team fouls from Maccabi and Sean, 140 to play. Kunz decline in the game. Steele comes to Mark Lyons, kicks it over to Dawson. They like to run, and he gets it to fall. Great work from Sean Dawson, but it won't count. Turnover against Maccabi Rishon. Sharon Drucker, the head coach of Maccabi Rishon, didn't like that call. Konsti Klein, Bookman, Tez. Mike Morrison, extra pass inside, and he's got to be a little more precise with those passes because they get in the passing lanes. Monroe and Chris Wright, they harmonize under the glass pretty well. You're going to have to... That was a pretty risky pass from Mike Morrison there, but it doesn't matter. Foul against Maccabi Rushan that puts Johannes Folkman at the free throw line. 11.3 points, 6.2 rebounds, 2.7 assists in the Europe Cup, 78% free throw percentage. She scored in double figures eight times in the Europe Cup, 22 against Sada Tagli, 19 against Kerka Novo Mesto, and he gets a second to fall. Phillips Scrub now in the game. The rookie came from AEK in Greece, and he's uh, found his rhythm pretty quickly in the German Biko BBL and had a 26 point game against Royal Hali Gaziantep, the Turkish team. And just the ultimate team player, Philip Scrub. And he can bring energy from the bench with his three pointer and his team play and his passing ability. is known as, for many, the best Canadian college player ever. He won more titles at Carleton than, than many professional basketball players that played 10 years. Chris Wright, right, against two Skylines, he loses the ball, and it's a turnover. Good defense from Frankfurt. 58 seconds remaining in the first quarter here, live from Frankfurt, Germany. Back in the game now, Tony Younger, the 35-year-old from New York, but he also has an Israeli passport. Played most of his career in uh, Israel. Played one season in Hungary. Played nine-year-old challenge game, games in his career. Tony Younger, a very good shooter, so watch for him, number nine. Scrub. Dorn camp, ball reversal, extra pass, Klein. There's the ball movement that everyone loves with Frankfurt. Scrub. Three seconds, penetrates, dipsy doodle, and he gets it to fall. Beautiful play from Philip Scrub under pressure, and the rookie gets the ball to fall. Fingertip roll for the Canadian. Nice give and go to Lyons, and he gets it to fall. Mark Lyons with a bucket. Twenty-four seventeen. There's that double team again, so a little press from Maccabi Bichon. Klein, five seconds. Klein's got to get something going. Nothing with Morse on the pick and roll, but beautiful pass, Scrub. And there you go. Scrub sees Mike Morrison all alone, and one of the hidden talents of Philip Scrub is his passing ability, and he just saw Mike Morrison all alone, and a good first quarter for the Fraport Skylanders, 26 to 17. The lead. And we'll quickly check the stats here after 10 minutes. The Fraport Skylands are shooting 73% from the field, which is pretty amazing. Maccabi Rushan 55%, which isn't too shabby. From uh, downtown, uh, Frankfurt is shooting 50%, very strong. Maccabi Rishon, 20%. The rebounds are 6-5 to five for Maccabi. And the turnovers are 7 for Maccabi and 3 for the Fraport Skylanders. And as I've done in the last game, a little summary in German 
for all those uh, for all the German people out there about what happened in the first 10 minutes. Ja, ein sehr starkes erstes Viertel für die Fraport Skyliner. 26 Punkte haben sie gemacht. Nach ein paar Minuten, wo beide Teams sich so ein bisschen ausgefühlt haben, haben die Frankfurter schnell sich an diese aggressive, aggressive Verteidigung der, ähm, von Maccabi Richard dran gewöhnt und äh, haben auch sehr schnell den Johannes Vogtmann ins Spiel eingesetzt. Äh, er ist der Topscorer für Frankfurt und ähm, machen einen guten Job in der Offense und haben ja unglaublich hohe Wurfquoten, was ich ja eben schon in Englisch gesagt habe, 73% vom Feld. Ähm, schießt äh, Frankfurt die Lichter schon aus. Maccabi, Richard 55, die Rebound 6 zu 5 für Maccabi. Von draußen Frankfurt mit 50, Maccabi mit 20. Sieben Turnovers für Maccabi, Richard 3 für Frankfurt. Ähm, 12 zu 8 die Punkte in der Paint für Frankfurt. Und äh, sieben Assists schon für Frankfurt. Also Frankfurt eigentlich in alle Belagen in Sachen Statistik in vorne. Also ein guter Start hier in das erste Spiel für die Fraport Skyliners in ihrer Mission, ihren dritten Verein Titel zu gewinnen. Jetzt zurück, Englisch. Konstantin Klein to start the second quarter for the Fraport Skyliners, 26 to 17, this John Little. And very aggressive here, the uh, defense from Maccabi Rishon. Not much spacing here for the Skyliners, but Philip Scrub off balance. And he has a great, great start here in this uh, game one against Maccabi Rishon. Ben Chimol inside, Daryl Monroe. Monroe tries that extra pass, but content can combine, read it perfectly, fast break. And Tony Younger stops the fast break. He won an who reached one Israel Cup final and a Baltic League final. The 35-year-old played at Spring Hill in the NAIA. That's the fourth college division in the States. Tony Younger with the number nine. Philip Scrub. Scrub swings it over to Little all alone. And John Little, the pit bull, gets it to fall. And the Skyliners are just grooving along here on offense. Also John Little had so much time there. Oh, beautiful pass there from, uh, I think that was Tony Younger to Hanochi. Philip Scrub. Aaron Dornkamp still looking to get some something going here. It's been other guys that have been getting the ball and been taking shots. Constant decline to throw it in now. 31-19, the very comfortable lead for the Fraport Skyliners. Constant decline. Dornkamp, John Little. Throws it away. Of course, the problem against Frankfurt is if you play a zone, they'll hurt you with their shooting because they're shooting very well tonight as they do in most games, and if you go one-on-one, -on -one or if you go a man-to-man, -man, they will beat you with their individual qualities, which are just better than the uh, Israeli team. Monroe kicks it out, he throws it away. Both teams defending very well. In the game now, number 12, Idan Zalmanzen, the 20-year-old, 206 centimeter power forward. Played the last two years with Herz Reiler in Israel. Played in the Albert Schweitzer tournament in 2012 in Mannheim, Germany. The tournament for all the top young players in the world. That's Idan Halmansen with the number 12. Turnover against the Fraport Skylands. Offense, offensive foul against uh, John Little. Hanachi throwing the ball in. He throws it almost away. Saved from... Ben Chimol and Mark Lyons, he's got to get something going here. He's the point guard. Trying to find creating here for Younger, and he gets it to fall. Tony Younger, who had a great career at Spring Hill in college. He reached at least 1,000 points, 600 rebounds, 400 assists, and 200 steals. 
And he hits an old school bank shot there. The 35 year old at the free throw line now. And the end one. Averaging 5 points, 2.5 rebounds, 1 assist, shooting 44% only from the free throw line. Doesn't get to fall, rebound, Aaron Dornkamp. Klein. Klein. Scrub. Scrub, looking for Morrison, who's free but didn't find him. Dornkamp, handoff, Klein, 8 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, beautiful bear, how he got away from that defender, Little from outside. Almost an air ball and trying to save the ball, Konstantin Klein, who was a German Beagle BBL All-Star this season. His fourth season with the Fraport Skylars came 2012 from Gotha. Before that, he played with Alba Berlin 2, the farm team under Henrik Rödel, and the teammates with Niels Giffey, the two-time NCAA champion with UConn, Mark Lyons and a turnover against uh, Maccabi Rishon, and if you keep piling up those turnovers, he had seven after 10 minutes, you're not gonna come back in this game easily. Konstantin Klein, 10 point lead for the Fraport Skylanders. Everything looking good so far. Can they keep the lead, or can Maccabi Rishon come back somehow? Scrub, inside. Danilo Batu against Tony Younger. That's a mismatch. Bardo, good defensive play from Younger, but still possession for the Frappo Skylanders is 4.6 seconds on the shot clock. Six minutes, 49 seconds to play in the second quarter, live from Frankfurt, Germany. Game one of the 2015-16 FIBA Europe Cup quarterfinals between the Frappo Skylanders and Maccabi Duchamp. Klein, Bardo, three seconds, gonna have to do it himself. Bardo to the hoop. Loses the ball. And that's going to be a foul against Maccabi Rishon. That's their third team foul in the second quarter. And that's his second foul for the 35-year-old Tony Younger. Chris Wright back in the game. Played two seasons with Maine in the D-League. For ex own coach and current Polish national coach Mike Taylor. We're also teammates with Sheldon Mack, who was teammates for a couple seasons with the German national player Dennis Schroeder, but he recently moved over to the Utah Jazz, where he just got bumped into the starting lineup. Bartle's first attempt is good for Danilo Bati. 78%. And 16 points against against the Polish team. And nice offensive rebound from John Little to keep this dry, or this possession alive. Bardo loses the ball. Against Rosa Rodham, 16 points to Neil Bardo earlier in the season in the Europe Cup play. Ben Shimon. A beautiful alley-oop to Chris Wright. I just saw the last second of that. I didn't see the complete thing, otherwise I probably would have gone wild. Nice pass from Ben Shimon. Inside, there's Mike Morrison. Nice fake. And nothing but net with a little help from the backboard. Beautiful play from Mike Morrison. No problems getting around Zalmanzum. Zalmanzum. Sean Dawson, and he throws it away. Yeah, Sean Dawson had his breakout game in the Israeli Winter League with a 28.18 rebound game against Hapol Halon. And he played six games last summer for the Israeli national team. Average 2.3, but uh, mostly garbage time, but he logged 27 minutes against France, getting 11 points, Sean Dawson. Tez. Scrub. Swings it over to Tez inside. Fukman. Fukman looking for the pass. Yes. Klein. 
A beautiful pass to Barco, but he couldn't make the shot. And another foul against Maccabi Bouchon against Zalmanzon. He can't believe it. Back in the game now with number 86, Daryl Monroe. From Virginia Beach. He played at George Mason, like I said earlier, with uh, Mike Morris. And then also with Cameron Long from uh, the S. Oliver Baskets Würzburg, who's actually at the game today, watching his two ex-teammates, Morrison and Monroe. Bartle gets the first to fall. And Daryl Monroe said about, uh, or Mike Morrison said that he learned a lot from the pick and roll from Daryl Monroe at, at uh, George Mason. So they're, they are battling today, Mike Morrison and Daryl Monroe, but right now on the court is uh, Johannes Volkman. Alley-oop! There it is, Chris Wright with another alley-oop from Ben Chimo. The story of the game has been the Fraport Skyliners, but for the NBA Showtime fans, you got it right there, twice in the same quarter, the same combination, Ben Chimo to Chris Wright. But the Fraport Skyliners lead by 11, 36 to 25. And if I have some time right now, I want to, want to say something about Sharon Drucker, the coach of uh, the Israeli team. He uh, won the Ulib Cup 2004 with Hapoel Jerusalem and won the um, Belgium title and the cup with uh, Ostende. And many thought he would have made the next step after that, but instead he went to Maccabi Tel Aviv and became assistant coach under Pini Gershon, the legend there. Pini Gershon is like a father for uh, Sharon Drucker. And I can remember two times back in 2008 and 2009 where Mora Dedin uh, had the opportunity to get Maccabi Tel Aviv to Frankfurt for two exhibition games twice in two different seasons. And both times, Sharon Juker was the assistant coach. And uh, the first time around, there were two games in the BCM, the practice facility of Frankfurt, where um, great players like Marcus Brown, Marcus Pfizer, and Carlos Arroyo played against the Skylars. And a season later, Didine was able to get Maccabi Tel Aviv here again under uh, Pini Gershon and Sharon Juker. And there you had great players like Chuck Eisen, Dior Fisher, Dorn Perkins, Masi Lampo, the ex-NBA player, David Blue, Andrew Guzaneski and Alan Anderson, who's playing for the Washington Wizards. Now, I saw one of the hardest dunks ever in the BCM from Alan Anderson. I'll never forget that. Scrub, beautiful move. And Philip Scrub is just doing his job and he's just hitting shots. Philip Scrub with a great game so far here in the first half. And a miss there from the number six, from the number six uh, Hanochi. Beautiful move from Jordan Theodore. He can't get it to fall. Skyline is a signal as it was already on its way in. And the Skyliners still get possession with Jordan Theodore, the basketball conductor. Pride and joy from Englewood, New Jersey. Geeson 46 for guard. TJ DeLeo told me he's definitely an MVP candidate in the Beacon BBL. He's been so important for Frankfurt in their great season. Scrub for three. Good. Fill up the mini Dorn camp in a guard's body. Scrub. And the Skyliners with their biggest lead, 41 to 25. Great pass from Tez finding the open scrub. Dawson. Dawson can't penetrate. There's Chris Wright. Wright to the hoop. Off balance. And Skyler's doing a good job forcing Maccabi Rushan to tough shots, but they're not doing a good enough job on the defensive glass as there's another easy putback for Daryl Monroe. Bartle, steal from Chris Wright. Hanochi, or Ben Chimo. There's Hanochi now. Ben Chimo. Inside Monroe, he's got the position and every time he gets the ball there, he will put that away. But the hoop doesn't count. And Sharon Drucker has a few words with the referee. 
first foul against Scrub. But uh, apparently they won't give Daryl Monroe the bucket. And now the, uh, the referees are still concurring here what to do. And they're going to give possession to... Well, I think they're going to give a, uh, yeah, some kind of flagrant foul. Definitely extra free throws for the Skyliners. Jordan Theodore. Can't get it to fall. Yeah, uh, a technical foul against Sharon Drucker. I missed that. Theodore get, can't get the free throw to fall, and... Tez. Inside, Bartlett kicks out, Folkman. Testing his nine per nine percent three-point. Folkman, no look pass in the corner, scrub for three. Good, fill up the mini. Dornkamp in a guard's body, and that's what happens when you get the offensive rebound to keep that possession alive. Beautiful no-look pass from Johannes Folkman to Philip Scrub. I thought Folkman was gonna penetrate to the hoop, but he saw Scrub from in the corner of his eye, and Scrub nothing but net from the corner. Offensive uh, rebound from Jordan Theodore to keep that possession alive. Yeah, I believe Philip Scrub is the top scorer now for Skyliners. Let me check it out here. Uh, Folkman has 12, and Scrub has 9, if nothing has changed here, what I see in the live score. No, nope, Philip Scrub has 12, and Folkman has 12. Bartle with 9 points. Top score for Maccabi Rishon is uh, Daryl Monroe with 8 points. And Frankfurt has done a very good job uh, keeping Mark Lyons out of the game it, with his scoring, who only has two points. The uh, players back on the floor now with three minutes, 13 seconds to play. Mark Lyons is on the floor, Daryl Monroe, Sean Dawson, Chris Wright, and with the number 14, that's uh, Kevin Palmer. who played five times against Maccabi Tel Aviv last season and scored in double figures each game. Kevin Palmer with the ball right now. Mark Lyons, a little press from Frankfurt. Maccabi Rishon start their set offense with 12 seconds on the shot clock. There's Mark Lyons, good duel against Theodore. They know each other from basketball camps in the New York area. Lyons can't get it to fall. Rebound Monroe, and he can't get it to fall. And going to be a foul against the Fraport Skylanders. Tez getting his team into the huddle. They got a good lead, but they can't lose focus now. That's what happens a lot of times when you have a big lead. Daryl Monroe at the free throw line. Started his career in Holland with Roy Varden. Then he played three years in France for Boulange and then for Boulosac, helping them into the French Pro A from the Pro B. He was third in the rebounding and the Pro B, then he was second in the Pro A, and then he played in the best league in Europe, in Spain, with Manresa, where he averaged 13 points and five rebounds. And last season, he played in the second division in Italy for Verona, where he averaged 17 points and eight rebounds, and was second in field goal percentage in Italy. He doesn't get the second to fall, and he won the cup with uh, Verona. It's been a Dutch and a France all-star Daryl Monroe and at George Mason he was known as the funny police if the joke wasn't good and he didn't laugh yeah then it meant something because he was the funny police and when he laughed the joke was good gets two to fall and Frankfurt now on the offense but Jordan Theodore coughs up the ball right in front of Gordon Herbert With two minutes and 42 seconds to play, Frankfurt has to do a good job now keeping the momentum 
and going into halftime with this big lead and not letting Maccabi Rushan make a little comeback here in the last two minutes and 28 seconds. Palmer. And a foul against Frankfurt. Second foul against Mike Morrison. Daryl Monroe back at the free throw line. And he was a lot heavier in college and he's bulked up since then and he's become a real good player. He's currently in the, one of the top players in Israel. He's fifth in scoring in the Winter League, fourth in rebounding. And as I said before, he's a four, averaging four assists per game in the Israel Winter League. And he gets the second to fall. Four free throws back to back from Daryl Monroe to keep Maccabi Rushan in the game somewhat. There's Jordan Theodore against Mark Lyons. Mark Lyons born in Albany, New York from Schenectady, that's in upstate New York. Played last year for Irony Naihara with second best score in Israel. Started his career in 2012 or 13. But now Jordan Theodore at the free throw line. First attempt for the Englewood, New Jersey native is Good. Jordan Theodore is averaging 14.2 points, 3.4 rebounds, 4.6 assists in the Europe Cup. 93% from the free throw line. He scored in double figures 11 times. 22 points against AEK. 20 points against Porto. And he gets the second to fall. A little press there. Mark Lyons can get over the middle line. Gives it to Palmer. Frankfurt back from the press. And now Maccabi Rishon inside. There's Monroe again. Monroe against his ex-teammate Morrison. Great work there. And there is Wright and stuffed Mike Morrison. Not in my living room, Chris Wright. What a play from Mike Morrison. But unfortunately, they give a foul to Mike Morrison and Daryl Monroe. Johannes Richter now in the game, who had his breakout game season last season where he scored in double figures against the Bakken Bears from Denmark. 15 points and 10 points. Not giving the Bakken Bears any honey on those two nights. First attempt from Chris Wright is good. His best game in the NBA, 25.7 rebounds against the San Antonio Spurs. Second attempt for Chris Wright is not good. And the ball comes to Sean Monroe. Good work there, but beautiful tip play from Scrub Theodore, coast to coast, reverse layup, good. Great play from Jordan Theodore. And that play only came because of the hustle play from Philip Scrub. Dawson, Lions, and a whistle. One minute, 27 seconds to play. Frappo Skylines with the very comfortable 48-32 lead here in game one of the FIBA Europe Cup quarterfinals. At the free throw line now, Mark Lyons. Averaging 17.3 points, 1.8 rebounds, 4.8 assists in the Europe Cup, 75% free throw percentage. Doesn't get the first to fall. Scored in double figures uh, 10 times, 24 points and 22 against BK Benchfields. Scored 20 points or more seven times in the Europe Cup and he gets a second to fall. Jordan Theodore. Quantez Roberts. Tez, great one-on-one -on -one player. Watch his dribbling. He's gonna eight seconds waiting for the uh, waiting for the screen from Richter. No pick and roll there. Tez for three. Short. And the loose ball comes to Lyons and he tips it. Great play there to Kevin Palmer for the easy 
fast break bucket. And a timeout taken, and Frankfurt up by 13 points. And those are the kind of plays that'll keep a team motivated to stay in the game. Mark Lyons, I mean, he didn't have the uh, height advantage there. I think it was Bartle at the center court, but he made the big hustle play like Scrub did, a, uh, did recently uh, there on his uh, pass to Theodore for the reverse layup. But Mark Lyons made the big hustle play, tipped the ball to Kevin Palmer, who had the uh, easy bucket there. Palmer, who uh, played the last two seasons for Hapol Kiliatat, and actually started the season with them and had 20 points against Maccabi Rishon, but then he uh, moved to Maccabi Rishon in January and is a very important role player from the bench. And there's one minute to play here in the second quarter. The Fraport Skyliners with the 48-35 lead. Maccabi Rishon back on the floor with uh, Daryl Monroe. Kevin Palmer from Baltimore, Maryland. Ben Chimol. Chris Wright. And the biggest Israeli talent at the moment at age 22, Sean Dawson, the number eight was an all-star last season in the Israeli Winter League. Jordan Theodore. Theodore, the scrub. Scrub looking to get something going here on the offense. It's Jordan Theodore penetrating to the hole. Beautiful against two players. Jordan Theodore with so much confidence. Frankfurt has 50 points. Palmer. Ben Chimo. Looking for the back door for Monroe, but a foul against the Fraport Skyline. Both teams with five team fouls, which means Maccabi Rishon gets a free ticket to the free throw line with uh, Daryl Monroe, who actually started his career at a Central Florida Community College before going to George Mason, where he averaged 10 points and seven rebounds as a senior. And besides being teammates with Cam Long and Mike Morrison, but also with Fuller and Campbell, he played in the BBL years ago in Bonn and Artland, and also was teammates with Jay Threat, who played with Heidelberg in the Pro A a couple years ago. First attempt is good for Monroe, the second is coming now, and he gets it not to fall short. Offensive rebound, no, goes to Bartle, who fights for the rebound. Ball goes out of bounds. And the ref, Bartle can't believe it. The ref is gonna get possession, I believe. 14 point lead for the Fraport Skyliners. With 18.1 seconds to play here in the second quarter, live from Frankfurt, Germany. Game one for the 2015-2016 FIBA Europe Cup. Fraport Skyliners with the nice 50-36 lead. Game two next week in Israel. Possession to Maccabi Rishon. A three-pointer would be good for their hopes to stay in the game. Ben Chimol. Palmer inside Monroe. Monroe with five on the clock. shot clock. Chimol with a traveling violation turnover. Frankfurt has 3.6 seconds to get off the last shot here. Jordan Theodore, 3.6 seconds. What's gonna happen? Thor Theodore, he has the ball. Theodore for three. And he can't get the fall and it's halftime, ladies and gentlemen here. The Fraport Skyliners lead with 50 to 36. Let's check the stats here. After 20 minutes, the Fraport Skyliners are still shooting in a ridiculous 70% from the field. While Maccabi Rushan also is uh, shooting out the lights at 57%. Uh, from downtown, the Fraport Skylands are shooting very well at 50%, but uh, Maccabi Rushan only 17%. That's uh, a big story here in the game that they can't uh, get their three pointers to go. One for six. The rebounding, uh, Frankfurt leads 12 11. And the turnovers, we have 12 for Maccabi Rushan, nine for the Fraport Skyliners. 
Um, some other stats here, points in the paint, 22 to 20 for Frankfurt. Bench points, 19 to six for the Fireport Skyliners. Assists, 12 to eight for Frankfurt. Um, second chance points, nine to eight for Maccabi. They're doing a good job under the boards. And fast break points, four to two for Maccabi. They are a fast break uh, basketball team, but they haven't gotten much uh, on points from the transition game today. Top scores in the game uh, for Maccabi or for Frankfurt, we have um, two players with 12 points, Scrub and Fuchmann, nine points for Danilo Patel, eight for Jordan Theodore, and one assist for him. Top score for Maccabi, uh, Rishon, we have um, 13 points for Daryl Monroe, five rebounds, seven points for Chris Wright. And now a short summary in German. Wieder ein sehr starkes zweites Viertel für die Fraport Skyliners. Die haben weiterhin ihr Offensivspiel durchgebracht, wirfen weiterhin sehr hochprozentig vom Feld und von draußen. Im zweiten Viertel war es nicht mehr so viel Johannes Vogtmann, aber da zeigt wieder Frankfurt, wie, wie vielseitig sie sind, dass die wirklich viele gute Spieler haben, die zu jeder Zeit punkten können. Im zweiten Viertel war es dann Philip Scrub, der ähm, viele Punkte gemacht hat und wie immer Jordan Theodore bringt immer Gefahr, wenn er den Ball hat und äh, er macht auch Punkte ohne Probleme, wie er will, als ob es ein Spaziergang äh, durch den Niederpark ist. Und äh, schauen wir mal an die äh, Statistiken. Die Fraport Skyliners werfen jetzt, okay, jetzt steht hier gerade in 86 Prozent, das hat sich nochmal, das Live-Score äh, hat sich äh, äh, nochmal äh, neu gestaltet hier. 68 Prozent vom Feld für Frankfurt, 57 Prozent für Maccabi von draußen, Frankfurt 44 Prozent, Maccabi 47. Ähm, die Rebounds 12 zu 11 für Frankfurt, die Turnovers ähm, 12 für Maccabi, 9 für Frankfurt. Punkte im, im, ähm, in der Paint, 22 zu 20 für Frankfurt, Punkte von der Bank 19 zu 6 für Frankfurt. Auch hatte ich ja auch schon im Vorfeld gesagt, das wird heute auch ganz wichtig sein, die Freiburg, äh, die, äh, die äh, Bank, da äh, macht Frankfurt einen guten Job. Ähm, Assist 12 zu 8 für Frankfurt. Und schauen wir nochmal die Freiwürfe. Da hatte ich auch gesagt, das würde auch wichtig sein, aber beide Teams nicht so gut. 69 Prozent Frankfurt, 62 äh, 62 Frankfurt, 69 für Maccabi. Äh, Richon, 12 Punkte für Squad, 12 Punkte für Vogtmann, äh, 7 für äh, Theodore, Topscore für Maccabi, das ist Daryl Monroe. Und äh, er hatte, ich glaube, ich habe es eben gesagt, 13 Punkte und äh, 5 Rebounds, wenn ich das richtig gesagt habe. Ja, das habe ich richtig gesagt. So, eine gute gute Ausgangssituation für die Fraport Skylands für die zweite Halbzeit. Die führen mit 14, mit 50, 36 und ich mache jetzt auch eine kurze Auszeit und bin in circa 8 Minuten wieder für euch am Start. I will take a short break now and be back in about eight minutes uh, for the start of the third quarter.
Bleib mal kurz da dabei, genau.
Welcome back to the Fraport Arena. We're about set for second half action here in game one of the FIBA Europe Cup quarterfinal between the Fraport Skylanders and Maccabi Richon, live from Frankfurt, Germany. 50 to 36 is the lead for the Fraport Skylanders. I'm Miles Schmitschäuber, I'm doing the play-by-play. And um, just had a little talk with uh, Cameron Long from the S. Oliver Baskets Würzburg. As I already said, watching his two ex-teammates, uh, Daryl Monroe and Mike Morrison, battle tonight. And he told me, and uh, it's nothing new, it's what a lot of opponents have been seeing in the Beagle BBL and also in the Europe Cup plays. And, and he really doesn't see any real chance for Maccabi Rishon getting back in this game, simply because Frankfurt will probably do what they have been doing all season long in the BBL and the Europe Cup play, and that is wear down opponents in the second half. And they really do that very well. And that also has to do with just the deeper bench. And um, we'll see how Maccabi Rishon um, reacts to uh, that and uh, see who gets the better start here in the second half. I'm looking forward to it. 20 more minutes of top international basketball here. Frappos Skyland is looking for the third club title after winning the 2000 Biko BBL Cup and the 2004 Biko BBL League title. They won a third one, their first international play, Hanochi. Monroe, there's Mark Lyons, looking pick and roll with uh, Monroe. Monroe inside, that's his position. Great defense for Frankfurt. Turnover against Daryl Monroe. He's been really the only guy who's really been doing anything for the Israeli team. Dornkamp, Bartel, Theodore against Lyons. Theodore gets the pick and roll, pick and pop. Folkman for three. In and out. Long rebound to Jordan Theodore and uh, another possession, extra possession for the Fraport Skyliners. Tez, nice fake. Alley oop! Dan Daniel, oh, and he can't get it to fall. That would have been. Yeah, the Skyliners still looking for that first alley-oop dunk tonight. Two already from Chris Wright. Lob pass. Monroe. Steal. Tez. Maybe now an alley-oop. Looking for Bartle. No. Touch pass from Theodore. Tez has to save it. And the Skyliners here a little clumsy on the fast break. Lucky that they got the ball back. Theodore for three over Ben Chamol. Long rebound. Rebound Lions. And going coast to coast off balance. And he gets it to fall. Good work from Mark Lyons. Who started his crew at Xavier, played three seasons there with uh, ex NBA player Jordan Crawford, Jamil McLean, and Kenny Fries who played in the BBL. Isaiah Fillmore was also a teammate of him. And then uh, he was uh, he moved to Arizona where uh, he played for that last season and had a great season. His last two seasons in the NCAA, he averaged 15.4 points. With more shooting guard, more point guard now as a professional. Gets one to fall. Bartow. Bartow inside running and they call a foul. <laughs> Sorry, Mark Lanz, of course, had both free throws to fall. Danilo Bartow now on the free throw line. Who had his breakthrough years ago, but injuries have kept him back a little but he's still very young Danilo Barto started his career in Heidelberg was teammates with Jabil Hodges his dad is Chicago Bulls legend Craig Hodges who won various three-point shooting contests at NBA All-Star games and he gets one to fall one of two for Danilo Barto yeah Maccabi Rishon's got to get something going because Frankfurt is just in the process of wearing down their opponent. How much more energy will they have in this comeback? There's Lions, he found it and he tried to dunk. And he was fouled. And I think he wanted a flagrant there.
And as I and as no shooting foul there, just a new inbounds play for Maccabi Rishon. Step back from Lions. Oh, and he gets a real difficult shot to fall, and that's sometimes those shots, those impossible shots that gets a team back or gets the team going. Now that was really a difficult shot. Right in front of the Frankfurt bench. Frankfurt up by 10. They want to find that offensive rhythm again. Bartel. Trying to go inside against the double team. Folkman in the corner like a, like a wing player. And he can't get the shot to fall. I mean, he gets the ball to shot fall, but the shot clock went off. Turnover against Johannes Folkman. Ben Shimon, the recipient of two alley-oop dunk passes to Chris Wright. There's Lions for three. He wants to get going. Rebound, Fulkman. Fast break. Dornkamp, but uh, Maccabi Rishon back. Theodore, Fulkman, Tez. Tez, looking for Fulkman. Good defense there from Monroe, who comes up. And he causes a turnover against Quantez Robertson. And that's what the Maccabi Rishon will do. They'll try to wear you down with their defense. This is something which Frankfurt doesn't usually witness so much in games, but Maccabi Rishon apparently still have a lot of energy here on the defensive end, and they just gotta get something going on offense. There's Monroe, that's his spot, and he gets it to fall, he fade away. And Maccabi Rishon back under 10 points now. Frankfurt just has to stay calm now. Work for a good shot. There's Theodore. Theodore kicks it to Dornkamp for three. Miss. And Bartel with the offensive rebound. Good work from the Heidelberg native. Theodore. Theodore penetrates. Loses the ball. Turnover. Fraport Skylanders lead 51 to 43 with six minutes, one second to play in the third quarter. Still a lot of time here. Can Maccabi Rishon come back here? They're down by eight. Both teams with one team foul here in the third. Ben Shimol, Daryl Monroe, Chris Wright. And a foul, I believe, against Aaron Dornkamp. And that will be Aaron's third foul. That's uh, only the first Frankfurt player with three fouls. There's the Energizer scrub back in the game. A big reason why Frankfurt got that big lead in the second quarter. They were struggling a bit, but he brought that needed energy from the bench and hit shots. That he hit just about everything. It was right. He stumbles. Monroe. He doesn't hit. He doesn't shoot threes. Off balance. Short rebound. Folkman. Jordan Theodore. Scrub. Scrub. Unbelievable mental toughness, the Canadian. Finds Tez for three. Hits it. Quantez, super Tez Robertson. And what happens, Philip Scrub comes into the game, brings the needed energy, and makes the perfect pass to Tez. A oh, beautiful back door, and Chimo can't get it to fall. Scrub for three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound, Hanochi. Alley-oop again, and Chris Wright, he wanted a third one. And I think they must have practiced, they must practice that in practice. Ben Chimol to Chris Wright, and he's already had two. I missed the first one slightly, and, that, and Cam Long told me the first one was better than the second one. Mike Morrison back in the game. Mark Lyons, step back. Just the backboard. And that was not, that shot did not hit the rim. So still 12 seconds on the shot clock for Maccabi Rishon. Ben Chimol to throw the ball in. 
He also played in Hapol Iliatat and Maccabi Ashdod. Like I said, he's played for eight teams in Israel. He's been all over the place. Daryl Monroe, step back, short, and Theodore has the ball. I mean, those aren't bad shots for Daryl Monroe, but he just isn't getting them to fall at the moment. Tez. Theodore. Fulkman. Beautiful ball moving from Frankfurt. Morrison there. Off balance. Can't get it to fall. And Ben Chimol actually has played in this arena before. He played with Maccabi Haifa back uh, between 2010 and 12. And back then, they played against the Prop Wars in Europe Cup play. Or Euro Cup play, yeah. So this is the second time here. And Mike Morrison now at the free throw line. Big Mike. The glass cleaner. 46% free throw percentage. And there you see why. 7.9 points, 4.3 rebounds in Europe Cup play. He's scored double figures five times. 17 points against Leiden and AK. Can't get the second to fall, and that's, of course, a lot of luck, or that's what Maccabi Rishon wants to get guys like that at the free throw line to keep the comeback alive. Lions. Foul. And against Jordan Theodore. His second. He has eight points. Ben Shimol to throw it in. Mark Lyons. Lyons. Behind the back pass, Monroe. Monroe. Off balance. Can't get it to fall short. Rebound to Folkman. These are all attempts from Monroe. He's got to make some of those. But Frankfurt not as consistent on offense as in the first half. Folkman all alone, his bread and butter, nothing but net for Johannes Folkman. 20 footer. And two points for Maccabi Richam from Ben Shimol. Back in the game now, number 12, Idan Zalmanson, the 20-year-old. He started his career with Maccabi Tel Aviv in 2011. Tez, step back for three, gets it to fall. Quantez, Super Tez Robertson, and the Skyline is now on a big run here. The offense is uh, getting on track again, thanks to Scrub who came in. Turnover against Maccabi Richon. And a timeout taken from Sharon Drucker. Just when Maccabi Richon seemed to be making a nice comeback with eight points back, they couldn't get anything going anymore on the offense in Frankfurt. They used that opportunity to get going as Scrub came in. And since then, Frankfurt now is on an 8-0 run. Mark Lyons now with eight points, as I said earlier about uh, the New York native. He started his career at Xavier, and he wanted to play for Sean Miller, but uh, he, for coach Sean Miller, but he left to go to Arizona, and uh, he took that chance to leave Xavier, and as a senior, played for the coach that he wanted to play for at Xavier, Sean Miller, and there he played with uh, NBA players like Solomon Hill of the Indiana Pacers, Nick Johnson of the Rockets, and current Alba Berlin forward Brandon Ashley and he's really had a pretty good career in Europe Mark Lyons and with uh, he reached two NCAA Sweet 16s with Xavier and started his career two years ago in France with Karel Deron and then went to uh, KK Zadar in Croatia where he was fourth best in league scoring and in shooting an astronomical 49% from downtown but so far tonight, he hasn't really been able to master or equal his 17 points, which he averages in Europe Cup play. But there's still 
13 minutes and three seconds to play, but the Fraport Skylines with the comfortable 14 point advantage, and they have possession right now with Jordan Theodore. Folkman, scrub. Beautiful extra pass from Morrison, and uh, Johannes Folkman wanted a foul, but he had too many steps, and they call a traveling violation against a three time German national player who's improved his points, rebounds, and assists each season since he joined the Fraport Skyliners in 2012, coming from Science City, Vienna. Lions, Salmanzum. Palmer, back to Lions, eight seconds on the shot clock. Inside, beautiful pass, Salmanzum has the position, and that's also a traveling violation. Good play from Mar Mike Morrison there, not letting him get the position that he needed. Jordan Theodore. Philip Scrub. Scrub. Morrison. Tez. Got hot in the third. Scrub for three. Partially blocked from Do uh, Sean Dawson. Lions. Dawson. Palmer. No good. Rebound. Loose ball comes to Theodore. Theodore underneath, beautiful play for two points. Jordan Theodore coast to coast. And now is that time where Frankfurt really starts to wear down the opponent. Two tough guards coming in now with Klein and Little to put more pressure on their comeback, and Dawson with a three-pointer. Theodore and Scrub go tumbling to the floor. Klein in the game now. One of his dreams is to play for a EuroLeague team. He also would like to play a bigger role for the German national team. And he was invited last summer. He'll probably be invited this summer. He's the third German of the big three of Folkman and Bartel, who's still looking for his big breakthrough in the BBL, but that has been short-tailed a little, mainly because he's also been fighting injuries this season, Ponce Klein. Scrub. Inside lob pass. Folkman always looking for that extra pass. Going inside, got the position against Monroe. Hook shot, two points for Folkman. And a turnover against Maccabi Rishon. Philip Scrub. Konsti Klein. John Little. Little. Klein. There's Morrison looking with five on the shot clock, Klein for three from Frankfurt Herbst, and he hits it! Konstantin Klein with a deep three! And that's just the big strength of Frankfurt. They bring everyone in from the bench, and everyone contributes to the Frankfurt success. Salmanzen, 20-footer, gets it to fall. 17 seconds to play in the third. Eight seconds, what will Klein do? Looking for Folkman to come out. Looking, he hits for three. Good! Konstantin Klein! And he hits back-to-back -back three pointers. And the Fraport Skyline with the biggest lead of the game with 19 points, 69 to 50. And I don't need to repeat myself just how versatile this Frankfurt squad is and how, how versatile their bench is. Gordon Herbert really has the luxury of bringing in so many guys from the bench and they just come in and contribute. And that's, you just saw it with, with Scrub in the second quarter. He came in and was instant offense. Klein comes in at the end, instant offense. And Frankfurt leads 69 to 50. Let's quickly check the stats here. 
Frankfurt still shooting very strong, 63% from the field, 50 for Maccabi. Rebounds, 22 for Frankfurt, 18 for Maccabi. Michon from downtown, 44% for Frankfurt, 30% for Maccabi. Michon, they're shooting a little bit better now in the third quarter. 16 turnovers for Maccabi, 13 for Frankfurt. Now my short summary in German. Ja, ein wieder ein starkes Dribbelviertel für die Fraport Skyliners, nachdem sie ein bisschen geschwächelt haben in den ersten drei, vier Minuten, wo die es erlaubt haben, dass Maccabi schon wieder äh, zurück auf 8 kommt, haben die dann aus dem Nix durch Philip Scrub, der mal wieder der Energizer war, so wie im zweiten Viertel. Er kam von der Bank, hat einen tollen Pass zu Ted gemacht, der einen drei punkte wurf gemacht hat und, und von da an war die Offense wieder neu geboren, Vogtmann hat gepunktet, Tess hat wieder einen 3-Punkte-Wurf gemacht, Theodore dann mit einem Coast-to-Coast-Lauf ähm, äh, für die 61-45-Führung und dann zu Ende des dritten Viertels Konsti Klein mit Back-to-Back-3-Punkte-Würfe und das zeigt wieder, wie vielseitig die Bank von Gordon Herbert ist. Er bringt Leute, wie er will und die kommen rein und geben ihren Saft für den Erfolg und äh, es geht jetzt weiter hier im letzten Viertel, 10 Minuten noch zu spielen Frankfurt mit 19 vorne und die machen weiter in ihr Ding, Frankfurt with a 19 point lead and they're continuing to wear down the Israeli team here, Scrub Dornkamp Scrub Little and a steal from Dawson Dawson hitting the fast break and behind Lions and with uh, Scrub and Dornkam on the floor, they both played at Carlinton. They share eight CIS tournament titles together. Scrub has five, Dornkam has three. Scrub also has three OUA titles. He's been player of the year three times in the CIS league, one time MVP and one time rookie of the year. He's won everything and he also won the D league with Toronto last summer. Dawson, in and out, rebound Morrison. Skylines with a nice lead. They just don't want to lose focus now. But with 19 up, you should be able to bring the win, ho win home. Dornkamp looking for Mike Morrison inside against his friend Daryl Monroe. And he draws the foul. Mike Morrison, probably his best game at George Mason, was a 14 point, 15, ra 15 rebound four block affair against Georgia State. Had his breakout season in Finland with uh, Katja. He had 13 points, eight rebounds. Was his average in the Euro Challenge before he came to Frankfurt last season. He led the BBL in field goal percentage, 71%. But he still needs to practice on those free throws. He's missed three in a row. Maybe let's get that fourth one, Mike. And he gets it to fall. Seventy-one, or is it? Sorry, seventy to fifty, the lead for Frankfurt, and a steal from Little. Dornkamp, scrub. And when you're up by twenty points, you don't need the basketball conductor Jordan Theodore in the game. He can take a rest on the bench, watch his teammates play. Klein for three, good. Constantine Klein with his third three-pointer within three minutes. Sean Dawson. Dawson. Younger. Oh, and quick hands from Dornkamp forces a turnover. Line. Soon Gordon Herbert can put in some of the young kids like Max Matz or Stefan Ilse, but a beautiful pass to Klein. And ball goes out of bounds. How do the referees decide this? 7.57 to play. Frankfurt with a big 73-50 advantage against the best shooting team in Europe Cup play. Frankfurt the best defensive team averaging 64 points given up. Steal from Daryl Monroe. Monroe coast to coast, fingertip roll, can't get it to fall. 
He draws the foul. Both teams with one team foul. Mark Lyons to throw it in. There's Mark Lyons and a turnover against Maccabi Richon. That's been a big thorn in their side today, the turnovers. They've just uh, coughed up the ball too much today. And not only uh, on defense, but on offense. And that's definitely not a way how you're gonna get back in the game. That was the 17th turnover for Maccabi Richon. Dorn Camp on the free throw line. Gets the first to fall. And Skylanders with possession. Little, John Little, and a tangle there between Zalmanzan and Mike Morris and the two big men. Third foul against the 20 year old 206 power forward from Tel Aviv, Zalmanzan. Fourth team foul for Maccabi, Frankfurt with one. Scrub, Dornkamp. Lob pass, alley -oop. good! Mike, the glass cleaner, Morrison! With the alley -oop throw down. Beautiful time from Aaron Dornkamp to Mike Morrison, the biggest lead for the Fratport Skyliners. 76 to 50, timeout taken from Sharon Drucker. And that pretty much put the seal on the game for the Fratport Skyliners. Beautiful pass from Mike Morris, uh, from Aaron Dorenkamp to Mike Morrison. Now it's just about finishing the game strong for the Fraport Skyliners. Maybe uh, Gordon Herbert will get that chance to put in some of the kids later, maybe at the three minute mark, if the speed continues to be as high as it is. Guys like uh, Stefan Ilzerfer, Max Matz, Garay Tse, all guys who deserve some minutes here in uh, international play. Or let's say Johannes Richter and Max Merz, since Ilthofer and Garaitze aren't even here today. So let's say Max Merz and Johannes Richter. Richter already played some minutes earlier in the game. Ben, ben Schumol and uh, save from Hinochi, airball, and Mike Morrison has the ball. Klein. Morrison. Scrub. Bullet pass inside the little. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Klein. Klein. Has the ball, loses it, and turnover and steal from Zalmanzan. And Klein is really one of those real aggressive players, always looking to penetrate. Nice pass inside, and that's easy two points for Kevin Palmer from Zalmanzan. John Little, Scrub. Scrub penetrating, looking for his spot, finds it, and nothing but net for Philip Scrub. Nice play from the Canadian, who also has the English citizenship. Salmanza to the hoop, can't get it to fall. Rebound Dornkamp. Dornkamp, Klein, all alone for three. 
Nothing but net. Biggest lead, 29 points for the Fraport Skyliners. They're hitting everything from everywhere on the floor. It doesn't matter where they are. They could even give the ball to Duncan Kong and he'd be hitting shots out there. Zalmanzen. Ben Chimo. Chimo. Off balance. Air ball. Klein has the ball. Thornkamp for three. High rebound and Kevin Palmer there. Sharon Duker now playing his bench. He must have realized now this game is pretty much over for him. Steal from Dornkamp. Oh, beautiful pass. Klein for three. No good. Long rebound and it comes to Kevin Palmer. 4.47 to play here in the fourth quarter. Ben Chimo, steal from Klein, has Scrub, has Morrison, the trailer, to Mike. Mike loses the handle and a traveling violation against the big man from St. Petersburg, Florida. Of course, this is a great, great uh, opportunity now for Skyliners to help their stat Sheets, a lot of steals here. Mike uh, Johannes Richter in the game now for Gordon Herbert. Ben Chimol. Tony Younger, the 35 year old Hanochi. Younger for three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound Dornkamp. Konsti Klein. There's so much confidence. Sometimes I think he's really an American because he has the swagger, the self-confident swagger of an American. He always wants the ball, and he's always looking to drive or kick a, and kick out, or kick out. And he's not afraid to speak his mind, Konsti Klein. He said earlier last season he may not be at the level of a Dennis Schroeder, but he's definitely at the level of an Anton Gavel and Heiko Shafatik. Chimo. Ben Chimo. Palmer for three. Another air ball. I don't know how many air balls Maccabi Rishon have taken tonight, but it's been quite a few. Three minutes and 41 seconds to play here in the game. The Fraport Skyliners with the ridiculous 81 52 lead here. And what a way to go into the weekend against Bond. A beautiful pass from Philip Scrub to John Little. And almost a steal there. The loose ball comes back to Richter and the ball goes out of bounds. And I mean, I really love the play of uh, Philip Scrub. Max Matz coming in now. And he's coming in now for Max Matson. Scrub, another good game for him. He's been struggling here and there a little the last weeks, but he's a rookie, had such a great start start when he came to Frankfurt on the 8th of, 7th of January. And rebound from Richter, a miss there from Ben Chimol. Richter. Max Matz. Started playing in 2012 for the Skylanders. Played three games in the BBL. Second season, he played 25. Last season, it was 10. Klein for three. Miss, and the ball goes out of bounds, and still possession, or possession of Maccabi Richon. minutes and 40 seconds to play here in the game. Frankfurt will move on with the 1-0 game lead and try to wrap it up next week in Israel. Salmanzon, great double team there from Little. Rotations are great from Frankfurt tonight as they usually are. A little huddle over by Gordon Herbert. 
Ben Chimal to throw the ball in. Hanochi, Salmanzon can't get it to fall. Rebound, Dornkamp. I believe they've only scored two points in this quarter. Yes, two points only for Maccabi Richon. 14 for Frankfurt. Dornkamp for three. Can't get it to fall. And Richter was there with the great offensive rebound, but got the ball stripped from Hanochi. Gordon Herbert says the best offensive rebounder in his team is Johannes Richter. Good quick hands from Klein. Fast break. Max Mass has little right. Bounce pass. Klein. And he's fouled. And Klein is shaken up behind the basket. But he's a very, very tough cookie. And of course, he'll get up with the help from John Little. And he'll go to the line. 6.9 points, 1.4 rebounds, 2.7 assists in the Europe Cup play. 83% free throw percentage for Konsti Klein from Berlin, Germany. First shot is good. He's scored in double figures three times this season in Europe Cup play. And twice, 14 points against the Dutch team, Leiden. Klein gets a second to fall. Eighty-five, fifty-two. 52 Hano uh, Ben Chimol, and he gets a uh, shot to fall. Only the fourth point for Maccabi Rishon in the fourth quarter. Maps. words there with Max, with Konstantin Klein and uh, Ben Chimal. Foul against Younger. Dornkamp has a few words with him. And uh, John Little at the free throw line. Three seasons with Biggie Gritting and three seasons with Würzburg. One season with Ludwigsburg. All three seasons played for John Patrick or at least played under John Patrick with each of these teams. Played at Northern Iowa with Ben Jacobson. First attempt for Little is good. 5.3 points, 2.6 rebounds, one assist is his average in Europe Cup play. 81% free throw percentage. And he had 14 points against Leiden and Royal Holly Ghazi and Tep. Second attempt for Little is good. One minute, 20 seconds to play here. Frappos counts in 87-54. Chimol, no look pass to Hanochi for three. Gets it to fall. He was all open. Got to get that shot. Seven points for Maccabi Rishon in the fourth quarter. 18 for Frankfurt Klein. Richter. Handoff to Little. Nine seconds on the shot clock for Frankfurt. A beautiful pass from Little to Johannes Richter. 89-57. Everyone contributes for Gordon Herbert here. Another great team effort here for this big Europe Cup win. Salmanza to the hoop, can't get it to fall. Has his own rebound. And he can't get that to fall. Caroline has the ball. Kunsi Klein. 20 seconds to play, 11 on the shot clock. Give the ball to Max Matz. He wants Richter to come out. He comes out. Where's Max Matz? Matz is open. Gives it to Matz. Matz. Dornkamp for three. Aaron, Mr. 7 a.m. practice player, Dornkamp for three. And the assist to Max Matz. And the game is over. The Fraport Skylanders win game one over the Israeli team, Maccabi Rishon, 92 to 57. Let's check the team stats here. Frankfurt shot an amazing 63% from the field. Maccabi 45 from downtown. Frankfurt 44. 
Maccabi's 25 rebounds. Frankfurt won that easily, 31 to 21. Turnovers, 22 for Maccabi, 19 for Frankfurt. Surely the only thing that Gordon Herbert probably didn't like about this game. Bench points, 44 to 14 for Frankfurt. That's just amazing. And that tells the story of just how important the bench is for Frankfurt and just why the bench is so important for the success. 32 to 26, the bench points in favor of Frankfurt. And uh, second chance points, 12 to 8 for Maccabi. The top score for the Fraport Skyliners tonight was uh, 16 points for Folkman, 14 points for Klein, 14 points for Scrub, 10 points for Botten, 10 points for Theodore. So Frankfurt with five players uh, in double figures and top score for Maccabi uh, Rishon was... Uh, it doesn't want to open right now for me, the Maccabi uh, stat. Sorry about that. No, uh, sorry, yes. Top score, 15 points for Daryl Monroe and 7 rebounds and 3 assists. Quick summary in German. Ein toller Sieg für die Fraport Skylands. Die gewinnen das erste Spiel hier im Viertelfinale der FIBA Europe Cup mit 957. Einfach wieder für 40 Minuten eine totale Teamleistung der Fraport Skyliners. Und äh, man kann eigentlich über nichts meckern, außer vielleicht die Turnovers, wo die Frankfurter 19 hatten, Maccabi hatte 22, Frankfurt 64 Prozent vom Feld, Maccabi 42 von draußen, 46 für Frankfurt, 24 für Maccabi, die Rebounds, 31 zu 21, die Punkte von der Bank, 44 zu 14 für Frankfurt, Punkte äh, äh, Nähe des äh, äh, Korbes, 32 zu 26 für Frankfurt, Frankfurt hatte fünf Spieler, die zweistellig gepunktet haben, mit ähm, Topscore mit 16 Punkten, Johannes Vogtmann 14 für Klein, 14 für Scrub, 10 Punkte für Theodore und 10 Punkte für Danilo Barton. Topscore für Maccabi war Daryl Monroe mit 15 und Spiel 2 ist nächsten Mittwoch in Israel und äh, da können die Frankfurter schon das Ticket für das FIBA Europe Cup Final Four buchen. Vielen lieben Dank für alle, die zugehört haben. Thanks everyone for uh, watching the game tonight. Frankfurt won game one and game two is next Wednesday in Israel and Frankfurt has the chance there to book their ticket for the FIBA Europe Cup Final Four. Thanks everyone for watching and I wish everyone a good night and uh, until the next time, I'm Miles Schmitschäuble and we'll see you next time from Frankfurt, Germany. Good night.